one place have it all. 100 mile views. A rare spruce fir forest. Exposed ridges and caves. A famous roadway in sight of billion year old rock. And ladders. Lots and lots of ladders. The answer is yes, and it goes by the name, Grandfather Mountain. We begin at the Stack Rock parking area on the Blue Ridge Parkway and hike the Tanawa Trail, which courses over creeks and through rock features. and under the Lynn Cove Viaduct, the last piece of the Blue Ridge Parkway to be installed, considered an engineering and design marvel at the time of its completion in 1987. Most visitors pay the fee and drive the road to the visitor center, but if you're looking to experience the backcountry, you've got to hike the unofficial grandfather loop. A roughly 15 mile loop made by stitching several trails together. Rough Ridge showcases the first views of the trip. And some wind. Although this is nothing like the 200 mile an hour winds recorded on the summit just a few years ago. turn onto the scout trail and ascend the last few miles to the campsite. In the morning, we continue to climb until reaching a prominent spot where we can see the Grandfather Massif with its multiple peaks rising from the foothills. The ridge rises and falls with its shadowed areas still frozen from the previous night's low temps, as rime ice separates from the branches and the sun. It's a rugged hike, with some of the best views in the Southern Appalachians. And spur trails to some interesting features. From several points, there's a four-state view. Callaway Peak, where we were just a few hours ago, 
Mount Rogers and White Top, the two highest peaks in Virginia. The ski resorts of Beach and Sugar Mountain, which ran their last chairlifts of the season a few weeks ago. The highlands of Rhone along the Tennessee-North Carolina border. The Black Mountains, including Mount Mitchell, highest peak in the eastern U.S. The vast Smoky Mountains beyond. The nearby Linville Gorge, flanked by Table Rock and Hawksbill Mountain. And Kings Mountain, which lies in the South Carolina upstate. We reach the attic window. This is the exact spot last fall. It was a little breezy. In fact, the officials would end up closing access to the trails later that day to keep people off the ridge. We work our way through boulders and down ladders. before heading back up the ridge en route to McRae Peak. tackle the longest set of ladders and descend to the final junction. Opting to skip the hike to the mile high swinging bridge. It's a cool feature, one that I've seen many times, but it'll likely be crawling with people today. Instead, we take the Black Rock Trail to complete the loop. So there's one catch with this loop. It's actually not a loop. Well, it is, but you gotta dive into the rhododendron to connect back to the road and get to your car. So this is the toughest part, a little bit of bushwhacking. And uh, I seem to take a different path every time and uh, it's never fun, but it's only about 30 minutes of walking through these tangles and uh, straight downhill and then you hit the road and head back to your car. This is why they call it rhododendron hills. After a punishing bushwhack through the rhododendron tangles, we spill out onto the Blue Ridge Parkway and hike a few hundred yards back to the car. Grandfather Mountain remains one of my favorite places, and this loop is the best way to see its many facets. It's a beautiful environment with fun features and a crowd-free backcountry. It's challenging <laughs> and boasts arguably the best views in the region. So to answer that initial question, yeah, some places really can have it all. <laughs> 